So, the rocket stove has become a pellet stove. I don't know if you can see, but there's pellets in there burning. This thing is just burning. It's cranking. I should have showed you the basket I made to catch the pellets, but I didn't. But there you can see what it's doing. I don't know how much control I'm ever going to have of this, but I do believe it's going to heat my shop. Now the plan was to make another one exactly like it and put it on the other side, but I don't know if we're going to need it. Guess we're going to have to see how this does, because it is really cooking. I mean really, really cooking. I don't think you could see in there, but maybe a little bit. There it goes. There's the rocket. And if I close these dampers off, it would even go more. This seems to be a very good way to control it. That's my ash pit that catches any ash that falls. Hopefully most of it will burn. If it were to get plugged up, I would just pull it out. But it was very hard to start, so i got to learn how to do that better. That thing is cooking. I'm pretty happy. I have struggled for years trying to heat this place, not only economically, but in, in a way that suited the way I work here. Because I might come up here for a couple, three hours making knives and then not need any more. It hasn't gone down hardly at all since we've been here. Apparently the pipe is cold. So that's it. Two pieces of four inch channel welded right with a basket to catch the the pellets and that's all you need. This is Ed, over and out.